Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA Functions series. In this video, we'll talk about the string function in string or in str. It finds the position of a substring inside a string and it accepts four parameters. The first one is the start position, which is actually optional. Then we need to have the main string and then the substring or, or text that we want to find. And finally, there's another optional parameter, which is the compare mode, which by default is case sensitive, but we can set it to compare just text, whatever the case. Now, as a simple example, let's have a test mail. And that's Excel Macromania at Outlook.com. We can check if this is indeed an email looking for the add character in a very simple way. That would be with in string, and as you see, the first character is the start position, but it's optional and we can just omit it. Then we need the main string, and in this case, it's going to be the test mail or test email, and then the character or the text that we want to find. And we're looking for just one character. If the string contains that character, the in string function will return the position of that character in the string. So it will be greater than zero. In that case, we can say, or let's have a message saying is email or something like that. So let's run it. And as you see, is email. Yeah, it's correct. If we remove this from the, from the string, nothing happens. We could have an else statement here saying email is wrong or something like that. We can have also text. We don't need to have only a character. For example, we could look for for that character and also, and if in string is outlook, then we could say, let's put it here now. Then we could say is outlook email. So now it's gonna be looking for that character and it's gonna be looking for outlook. Yes, is outlook email. Now, this is actually returning the position. So if we put this in a message box just before that, you're going to see how we get the position where the at is located, 16th character. It's the 16th character in this string, right? Now, another interesting thing is that this, by default, is case sensitive. So if I, if I write Outlook with a capital O and we run this, nothing happens because it doesn't find Outlook with a capital O. So we can use the last parameter to change that. But if we use the last parameter, we need to add the first parameter too. In that case, the first parameter would be starting in position one and the last parameter now as you see here, has three possibilities from which in Excel we can use only two. By default is binary compare, which is the value zero actually. And then if we set it to text compare, it's not gonna be case sensitive. So now if I run it, as you see, is Outlook email, despite we wrote Outlook with capital O. Let me put that in another line so that you see everything in the screen. Now let's have a look at other example. In the previous video, we used other string functions to get the extension of the file. We were actually using the write function, getting the last three characters. But what if the extension has more than three characters? For example, the video could be an MPEG extension or, or a Windows, for example, WebM extension, which is now four characters. We can get the extension now using the in string function, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's probably not the best way to do it. It was also not the best way to do it as we did it in the previous video with the write function. We will see later in some other videos what's the best way to do it. But let's see how to do it with the in string function so that you see how we use the position that is returned from the function. So let's create a function that is get extension for example and it's going to get the file name as a string and it's going to return a string as well now we're going to get the position let me call it pause using the in string function of the file name for 
the dot. And once we have the position of the dot, we can get the extension using the write function for file name. And now the length is going to be the length of the file name function minus the position. And we've seen this same syntax using write and length in the previous video, so I'm not gonna so I'm not gonna explain that again. But now we can basically return the extension as x. And if we come here and use our get extension function for the file, we're gonna get the extension whatever the length, if it's three or four characters. And as we did in the previous video, we could actually use that to get the file type. So this could be get file type and based on the extension here, extension is a JPEG or extension is a PNG or whatever, then we could say get file type is picture and else if, if extension is WebM or any other video format, etc., then we could say get file type is video and so on. We've done that already in the previous video, so I'm not going to go through that again. But now basically, if we come here and say get file type, this other function, now, this one is not working anymore, but and there's a typo here. That's why we didn't get anything. So basically, we're going to get the file type. Uh, we didn't declare for these two, but if we go down to the video one, we're also going to get that it's a video. Now, we can also use in string function to count the number of occurrences in a string. So for example, count occurs. And this can be useful when we have a long string, such as, for example, this one here, which is actually the JSON string response from an API call. You don't need to worry about all of that. I've covered that actually in some other video, but the API returns the names of the universities for a given country. So I can use the in string function to get the number of universities for that country from that response. So let's say the text is whatever we have in range A1. And then we're going to loop through that text searching with a search start position, starting in position one. And we're going to put in a variable, let's call it find term using the in string function. Now we're going to use this optional start parameter with the search start and then we're going to look in text for the term name. Why name? Because the JSON string shows the name of each university in that key value pair. If that's found, the find term is greater than zero, then we're going to change the search position. Now it's going to be find term plus one and then we're going to count the course equals a course plus one that's the variable that is going to count the number of universities in this example and else and this will happen when it doesn't find the name anymore then it's going to exit the do loop here we can loop and let me just display in a message box the number of occurrences in that string, which is the number of universities. And there is a mistake here. So uh, now if we play it, as you see, we get 37 occurrences, 37 universities in the JSON response from that API that is, that is returning the universities for a given country. So this was a bit of a more complicated example to see how we can use the in string function to also loop through the text and find terms in, in the text. And that's something I've used to actually read the JSON response from this API call. And we've seen that in a previous video. I'm going to leave the link up here so you can have a look. 
and that's how we use the in-string function in Excel VBA. Thanks for watching.